In this video, we are going to solve a problem related to the instruction set architecture and uh, this question that is given over here, it came in the gate uh, examination in 2014. So, we have a processor with 64 registers. We know that if there are 64 registers, we will require log 64 to the base 2 bits to address a particular register. So probably if we call them by their name like R0, R1 to R63, then in, uh, in binary format, they would require log 64 bits to represent them. So log 64 is 6 bits. So R0 would be represented as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 R1 by 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and so on. So if there are 64 registers, we need 6 bits to represent each register. We have an instruction set of size 12. That means the total number of different instructions that are present in the instruction set that is 12. So how will we encode the opcode? Each instruction will have an opcode. So how many bits will be required for the opcode? Again we take log of 12 to the base 2 and take the ceiling. So this would result in 4 bits for the opcode or to specify each instruction. Each instruction over here is having 5 distinct fields. So uh, the fields are the opcode. So we have the opcode which we know requires 4 bits. There are 2 source register identifiers. So there are 2 source ad register identifiers. So each is requiring 6 bits. There is one destination register identifier. So again, this is again a register. So this will, will also require 6 bits and a 12 bit immediate value. So this is the 12 bit immediate value. So each instruction must be stored in memory in a byte aligned fashion. That means if suppose if this is the memory and uh, suppose these are the bytes over here. That means each instruction that is stored should be stored in a byte aligned fashion. It cannot start from the middle of a byte. The bytes have to be aligned. So they are asking if a program has 100 instructions, then how much of memory will be consumed? So if you see over here 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 12, this results in 34 bits. That means each instruction requires 34 bits. So how many bytes are required? 4.25 bytes for each instruction. So if we consider that each of this box over here is representing a byte, then 4.25 would be something like this, 4 bytes and 0.25 bit. But you know that we are using a byte aligned fashion. That means the next instruction can start only at a byte address. So how much space would be required for each instruction? 5 bytes. We cannot start any instruction in the middle of a byte. Next instruction or next data that is to be stored would be put only after 5 bytes. So if each instruction is requiring 5 bytes, how much space would be required by 100 instructions? That would be 100 into 5. So the answer would be 500 bytes. Let's take another example. So we have a processor which is having 16 integer registers. So any processor which is supporting floating point operations would have separate integer registers and separate floating point registers. So the integer registers are 16, so R0 to R15. So if there are 16 integer registers, we know that log 16, that is 4 bits would be required to represent or address these integer registers. Then we are having 64 floating point registers. Let's call them F0 to F63. To code them or to address them, we will require log 64, which is 6 bits to represent these registers. Now this processor uses a 2 byte instruction format. Okay, so that means each instruction is having Two bytes and there are four different categories of instructions type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Type 1 
consists of four instructions and what is the format of type 1 category there are three integer register operands so there would be the opcode which would define the kind of instruction it is and there would be three integer reg register operands so one integer register operand another integer register operand and another one each integer register operand we know requires four bits so this is 12 bits we know that this is a two byte instruction so actually the number of bits that would be required for the opcode four bits are available but out of these four bits that means a maximum of 16 instructions can be put over here but this category has only four instructions which can be easily encoded in four bits so how many different kinds of combinations can be formed with the type 1 instruction so four instructions and each opcode over here can have 2 to the power of 4 combinations of this integer register any of the register can be the integer register out of these 16 registers which are present any one can be a register operand over here similarly any register can be an operand over here so again there are 2 to the power of 4 options available here also there are 2 to the power of 4 options available so for each instruction these many options are available so how many options are available with 4 instructions 4 into 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 4 now the type 2 category it consists of 8 instructions each with 2 floating point register operands so the type 2 there would be an opcode and then there are 2 floating point register operands we know that each floating point register requires 6 bits of address so 6 bits and 6 bits this is 12 bits so out of the 2 bytes that means out of the 16 bytes again we can give 4 bits to the opcode and in this 4 bits we can easily encode 8 instructions so how many combinations of this can be formed 8 into 2 to the power of 6 of the floating point register the first operand and 2 to the power of 6 of the second operand so these many combinations are possible type 3 category consists of 14 instructions there is one integer register operand so here is the integer register operand of 4 bits and one floating point register operand which is of 6 bits so 10 bits gone over here so out of the 16 bits that are available 10 bits have gone so 6 bits you can give to the opcode in this 6 bits you can easily encode 14 instructions and what are the different types of possible combinations 14 into 2 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 6 and then we have the type 4 category which consists of n instructions each with a floating point register operand so there is the opcode and one floating point register operand so the number of combinations that are possible is n into 2 to the power of 6 now this instruction is having each instruction is having 16 bits now using these 16 bits the maximum number of possible combinations are 2 to the power of 16 so that means the sum of all of this it cannot exceed 2 to the power of 16 so we have this is for the type 1 combinations this is for the type 2 combinations the type 3 combinations and the type 4 combinations when you will solve this out you will get that n is equal to 32 so the maximum value of n that means the maximum value of these type 4 instructions that you can have is 32.